This is the first of two new remote sensing antennas to be built at the Prince Albert Satellite Station. The new antennas and data collecting software are replacing technology that is 30 years old. What you're seeing is actually four new antennas being built across Canada. Two are here in Prince Albert and one in Gatineau and one in Inuvik. Um, so we're seeing that is the bulk of the funding plus the new management software to manage the data as it comes down. The government of Canada is spending $39 million through its economic action plan to revitalize natural resources Canada's satellite stations. Each antenna costs approximately $10 million. It's important for the people of Canada to have a facility like we see here in Prince Albert and to utilize its resource to the full capacity. You know, whether it's a forest, forest fire or a flooding in Manitoba, there's many examples of where this type of imagery can be utilized across Canada. And Prince Albert's a good central location to uh, gather that information. The new remote sensing antennas are equipped to handle higher data transmission rates from Earth orbiting satellites. It can receive radar and optical data. The diameter of the structure is 13 meters, three meters larger than the previous models. As well, it uh, has S and X band capability. That's the different communication bands that it works in. And uh, it has uh, wind survivability of up to 200 kilometers an hour, and uh, it can actually operate up to 100 kilometers an hour. SCD Systems from Saskatoon was hired to erect the four antennas. Once the antennas in Inuvik and Gatineau are complete, they will build the final antenna at the Prince Albert radar station. They hope to finish the project by 2015. It demonstrates our capability to the, not only to Canada, but to the rest of the world. It shows that we're able to build, as a prime contractor, some very sophisticated uh, satellite communication systems, which is really what our forte is. Natural Resources Canada uses Earth observation information for several applications such as monitoring Canada's border and to track ice flow in northern waters. The information gathered by the satellite stations is also purchased by private industry. So we use it for monitoring of the landmass, natural, resource, uh, natural resources monitoring, uh, development, um, safety, uh, anything floods related, you can take an image uh, and then look at the extent of a flood. Uh, you can look at maritime surveillance, uh, ships coming to Canada and things like that. The federal government stated the investment in satellite stations will allow Canada to preserve northern sovereignty. Other uses include responsible resource development and emergency response. For Shaw, I'm Lisa Rizm. All the time.